Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to this week's Advanced Warfare News Roundup. The gameplay that you're seeing right now is some previously unreleased gameplay that I found hidden on the Call of Duty YouTube channel as unlisted gameplay, but I'm going to go ahead and upload it later on. I'll transition into some of my own. Let's start off with some multiplayer this week. The maximum rank in multiplayer has been confirmed to be 50 before you can prestige, so you get up to 50 and then you can prestige. I'm not sure how many prestiges there are. However, your supply drop unlocks carry over from prestige to prestige, so all of the gear the helmet, the goodies, the decorative things you get carry over. Not entirely sure about weapons, but I think the variants also carry over until, but you can't use them until you unlock that core weapon, then you can use all of the variants. On top of this, when you prestige, you can pick one item to carry through all prestiges, kind of like Black Ops 2. So you hit your max prestige, when you prestige, you pick your one gun, perk, item, you know, kill streak, whatever that you can carry with you into the next prestige, and you don't have to worry about unlocking it. It's exactly like Black Ops 2. At this point, we are transitioning over to some sniping gameplay, which Cross gave me, telling me it was his, but turns out it was T. Martin. After the sniping, we're going to transition back to my gameplay. Uh, you are going to be able to get special unlocks and gear for season rewards and ranked playlists. It's all decorative items, like if you get gold or platinum or whatever, you're going to get a special helmet or a special armband or, you know, something decorative to show off your rank in the ranked playlist. This kind of scares me a little bit. I mean, the DDoSing was pretty real in Black Ops 2, but I think it's going to get a little bit more real now that we have gear rewards that people can grind for. However, my VPN is ready, so it's not going to be a big deal for me, and I do think that it's a step in the right direction because I, I play League of Legends a lot. I like competitive stuff. I'm working on getting gold in League of Legends, so I'll probably work on my Advanced Warfare ranked playlist trying to get those kind of unlocks, and it's a pride thing for me. It's something that I happen to like, and the seasons are monthly, not yearly, so every month that rolls over, there's going to be a new reward, a new item, a new something that you can get for showing off your rank in those ranked playlists. Speaking of ranked and competitive, MLG announced how their series of brackets is going to start off for Advanced Warfare. They're starting off with a 25k series. They previously do 4,000 or 5,000 or 4 and 5k. They're starting off with a 25k to kick off Advanced Warfare. Pro points are up for grabs, so the placings might move around. And they're trying to make it easier for amateur teams to get into the brackets to play and hopefully be able to compete against the pro teams that they're fans of and be able to show that maybe they can play as good as the pros. So it's going to be easier for amateurs to get in. And and a lot of money up front. A digital upgrade thing was announced, very similar to the Ghost one. If you buy the game on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3 and then end up getting a Xbox One or PS4 over the course of the year, you can upgrade for free. All the content unlocks, uh, all the DLC, all that sort of stuff carries over. Or at least that's how it's supposed to work. Speaking of unlocks and that sort of thing, IGN had a video on their channel where they showed off a whole series of high level unlocks. I cannot show that video on my channel because it's theirs and I'll get a copyright strike, but I can describe to you what I saw. You can go check it out on your own. Tons and tons and tons of crazy customization options. They had like Titanfall looking helmets. They had Master Chief looking helmets. They had aviator sunglasses. They had something that looked like the Scouter where Vegeta asked what his power level is. My personal favorite was a gold mask that looked a lot like the Deadpool mask, except it was golden. I thought it looked really, really cool, kind of like a gold Deadpool. They showed off a massive Stinger rocket launcher of some sort. It looked like a kind of like an anti-aircraft lock and fire sort of thing. There was a riot shield on display. Theirs in particular was gold. Dual SMGs are back. They looked like dual vectors, but they might be dual machine pistols. I'm just glad to see back some kind of akimbo submachine gun, because I was a big, 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 big akimbo SMG fan, and it's just, for me, that's a, that's a big thing that they're coming back. And they also showed off a new sniper rifle very, very briefly. It looked lighter than the rail sniper rifle that we see here, so I'm assuming the rail sniper rifles, like the DSR-50 or the Barrett, this one will probably get less one-shot kills, but might shoot faster or something of that nature. Moving on, Hellspawn mode has been unfortunately confirmed to be fake, which is a huge disappointment to me because it's something that sounded really, really fun, and I would have liked to have played Hellspawn mode, but apparently that is, uh, that's a rumor that just turned out not to be true, so no Hellspawn mode in Advanced Warfare. On the more businessy side of things, or community side, pre-orders are down for Advanced Warfare. They are lower than Ghost and lower than Black Ops 2. Uh, the projected sales are also lower than Ghost and obviously Black Ops 2. I think this is because people, Ghost was not a popular Call of Duty game, let's be honest. People got pretty burned. They're probably going to wait till it comes out to decide if they're going to buy or not. And there's also a lot of holdouts because of the new consoles, which is the weird thing about this. I say pre-orders and sales are down, but that's kind of industry-wide. Advanced Warfare is still by far 
the most pre-ordered game uh, on any of the charts and any of the retailers anywhere and nothing else is really competing with it but it's still low there's kind of like an industry-wide slump in console gaming the introduction of the new consoles people have been a little bit less apt to buy than they think and they really hold off on game pre-orders until they decide which console they're going to get or not get so there is definitely a downturn in gaming this Christmas on the business front and that's all for this video I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something useful if you did don't forget to like favorite and subscribe Drifter out.